Jack Cable looks like any other freshman on the Stanford University campus. Except he's paying for college by hacking into companies. How much money have you made hacking? I'd rather not talk about that. <laughs> it's a lot. Enough to pay for four years at Stanford. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It started by accident when he was just 15. I was looking at an online cryptocurrency website and noticed that you could send a negative amount of money to someone else that would effectively take the money from your account, from their account, and give it to you. You could have taken hundreds of thousands and put that in your account? Yeah, for me, it was always just the easiest route to work with companies instead of stealing it. Now Jack is considered one of the elite, an ethical hacker who's worked with companies like Google, Facebook, Uber, and Yahoo to find their tech vulnerabilities. You're the youngest person to have security clearance at the Department of Defense. Yeah, so this past summer, I worked at the Defense Digital Service. It's called basically the SWAT team of nerds. We come in and help improve the state of technology because as we all know, technology has to be improved in our government and our military. He loves to go in and not only break things, but break things for good. If we don't find these things, if we don't find these vulnerabilities in our systems, then we leave them open for our adversaries. Alex Keller coaches some of Stanford's brightest, including Jack, on the applied cybersecurity team. We're hearing about cyber threats more than we've ever heard about them in the past. So how vital is it that we teach our young people these skills to protect from these? It's absolute paramount importance. Our, this is not just about information security anymore. It's about uh, protecting our financial systems. It's about p protecting our political institutions. The stakes now are extremely high. Which Jack already knows. And this military grade hacker is also strengthening security right here at his own university. Stanford reached out to me if I wanted to help them start a bug bounty program. Mm -hmm. And that was just a really exciting thought because like, in the past people maybe have been punished for hacking into their school systems. Do you have any concerns? Of course. As the Chief Information Security Officer, I do have concerns. Again, I think we are taking a measured risk here and we have a lot of safeguards in place. For Jack, those safeguards are a welcome challenge. Why do you hack? There's something really cool about doing something that you know you shouldn't be able to do. For today, Tammy Leitner, NBC News, Palo Alto, California.